Hey guys, welcome to another video um, about kind of Minecraft, I guess. Anyways, uh, this video is going to be a video about how to skin Minecraft. Um, I kind of understand it, I understand it pretty well, and I've made some custom skins, as you probably can tell in my videos. So yeah, I'm just going to go over how to do that really quickly, and um, yeah, I'm going to do my recycle bin because I'm picky. Anyways, um, yeah, so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need two programs. The first one we need is paint.net and to get it just go to paint.net and then do paint.net and then do I don't know do one of these I use this one so it may be best so you can actually follow along exactly um, but yeah then you do this and then do the beta and then just hit you know download and uh, whoa what happened that's weird okay oh that's why it's hosted by right, never mind. then do download now I think I don't know. and then do this one yeah, there you go. Anyways, that's how you get paint.net, and uh, I don't really need that, so oh, too late. Anyways, um, another thing you're going to need to do is get a program called 7-Zip, and you don't need this, but it's it's the best one out there, I, I think. It's free, completely free, and uh, it's what I use, obviously. It works with a bunch of stuff, as you can see. Um, pretty simple to use. Anyways, you're going to want to download the one for you. Uh, obviously, I have 64-bit. It's not really obvious, but I don't know. So I'd have to download that one, and then you download that and install it. And, uh, yeah, let me delete that one paint on net download, though, because I don't really need that. Anyways, um, what we're going to want to do is after you have all that installed, you're going to want to restart your computer just to make sure everything is up and running. So, uh, yeah, you may want to do that, I guess, and then come back to this video or something, unless you've had to in the install, because I think 7's it may require you to, I don't know. If the install's told you to, then do it, but if it doesn't, then don't worry about it. Anyways, what you're going to want to do now is, if you're in Windows XP, I don't know how to do it, I, I, I've i used XP, but I don't really, um, like, use it anymore, so I don't really know how to do this, I think it's in, like, folders and file settings, but if you're in Windows Vista or 7, I believe, and I'm in 7, it's just a skin 7, um, you're going to want to go into start and then type in hidden and then the first one is show hidden files and folders and then hint A and then right here where it says hidden files and folders make sure show hidden files and folders and drives is on and then hit OK and then you're good to go then what you're going to want to do is go into computer and then local disk I think it's wherever you put the exe of minecraft and then go to users and then whatever user you are so obviously my user would be Neoka, so I'm going to go into that, and then app data, and then roaming, and then dot minecraft, and then we're going to go into bin. Now from here, this is where 7-zip takes its part in this, and we're going to want to right click on the minecraft, the one that's just, my, it's may, it may be named minecraft.jar, but it's this one, the one that's minecraft, that's nothing else, you don't worry about that yet, actually don't worry about that at all. Um, yeah, you're going to want to right click this. I said right click this and then do 7-zip and then open archive and this will take you to this confusing looking menu um, the main things you need to worry about are in these folders and they're pretty neatly organized and then somewhere down here there's some pictures but um, they're not really important let me see if I can find them yeah right here particles you know just I have no idea what that is it's I guess effects um, pack you know the pictures I guess so the map packs, or not map packs, I'm sorry, um, whatever, the terrain, so if you want to skin the terrain, this is what you do, whoa, what the, what is that, that is awesome, I just found something new, cool, anyways, I uh, got carried away again, anyways, what we're going to do is mainly go up to the folders, come on, there we go, and uh, what you want to do is just ideally, I'm going to let you explore these because these are kind of confusing and stuff, so I'll just show you how to do it. But anyways, what we're going to want to do is go into these and pretty much just, you know, find what you want. And if you want to switch art, I'll show you how to do art today, and then I guess, I don't know, not today, because I'm probably not going to make any more of these tutorial videos, or at least on switching skins. But, whoa, what happens? Anyways, what we want to do is, um, you're going to want to obviously open it, make sure you want to skin this, and I use Picasa to view my photos, so it looks like absolute crap if I zoom in, but don't worry, paint.net is going to fix all that. And uh, then what you want to do is you're going to want to extract this anywhere you feel like it, so I'm going to extract it from my downloads folder, 
and there we go. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open this up in paint.net really quick. There we go. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find a picture that we want instead of the ones that are there. And this is a really, really simple process. What you're going to want to do is go to Google, and um, from Google, you're going to want to pretty much just find an image you want. So let me think. Uh, what kind of image do we want? Let's see here. How about... What do we want? Hmm. How about a neon heart? Looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can find a cool one. Hmm. Let's see here. That one looks pretty cool, but it's a little big. We kind of want to find a reasonably a square. Well, I, well, I want to replace. Actually, I'll show you. I want to replace uh, this picture. Or, whoa, one of these pictures up here. These uh, square pictures. So we're gonna want to try to find obviously a square picture to replace it. It'll make it a lot easier, believe me. So uh, let's try to find 140 by 360, 1280 by 1024. That's decent. 800 by 694. We can always just square these out too, so it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, let's see this one, just because it's already pretty small. So, uh, yeah, then what we're going to want to do is save the picture wherever you save your pictures, I guess, and then just get rid of that. Go back into Downloads, and then find this, and open it. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, I'm going to crop this really quick and just make it a little bit more squarish and uh, unhorrible, I guess. Makes it a little better. That looks, that looks good, I guess. And then what we're going to want to do is to get the precise measurements. What you're going to want to do is pick the picture you want. So I'll do this with a couple just to prove it. Um, what you're going to want to do is select it from the beginning of the frame. So, like, not the beginning of the frame, but the beginning of the picture itself. So right here, and then go to the end, and then do copy or control C. So I'm going to use control C because it's faster and I've just grown you set. And after you do that, you're going to want to hit new and uh, there. There's the dimensions right there. So 14 by 14. Now if I wanted to know the dimensions of this, same thing. I just do this. Control C. New. There's the dimensions. 30 by 14. Anyway, so this is 14 by 14, I believe. Yeah, 14 by 14. Now what we're going to want to do is go back to this picture, hit image, then resize, and do 14 by 14 and there we go there's a picture it looks like crap but that's you know that's 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 minecraft simple graphics and uh, then we're going to want to do is just paste it and try to find it and there we go and we're going to want to pretty much zoom in and just uh align this so uh let's just you know put that in place and then what you're going to want to do is hit save and then it'll ask you, you know, preview it and everything and make sure it's a PNG or else it's not going to work it should work i mean it shouldn't yeah, it shouldn't have a problem but, yeah, just make sure it's a PNG. It, like I said, it, I don't think it should change. I doubt it will change. It hasn't changed ever for me. So, um, unless you hit File and then do Save As, which in which case lets you, you know, save as different files. Anyways, um, yeah, after that is all saved up and done, we're going to delete this really quick because I don't really want that. Anyways, after that's done, you have this KZ folder, or this K, not folder, file. And what you're going to want to do is pretty much just go back into the um, minecraft.jar thing and uh, pretty much just drag it and drop it and then do yes. And uh, yeah, there you go. You can open it to make sure. And um, yep, sure enough, there's our picture. And then when you go into Minecraft, uh, when you put the picture down, one of those will be it. Obviously, it's random, so you can't force it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm actually going to move this to um, here just because this is where I put my files that I kind of don't use and uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to skinning it's pretty easy once you get into it it's pretty cool pretty easy to do um obviously you got you know this is my moon and everything my sun and the sun looks really awesome obviously the sun though is just a white blob during the daytime so you don't really need to freak out you can only really see it during sunset and sunrise um the moon obviously at night you can see it really good so you kind of want it your moon to be the better of the two, and I honestly really like my moon, and uh, you know, my icons, whatever, but yeah, just experiment with that around, or experiment with that around, that was weird, anyways, experiment with that a bit, and 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have skinning. Uh, all you really need to do is just experiment a little. You're obviously will find you'll yeah you're yeah you'll obviously find everything you really need. Um, by experimenting or experimenting. That is my new word. I just made up a word. Experimenting. Oh God, it's explore. It's it's exploring and experimenting at the same time. It's experimenting. So yeah, just experiment around and everything, and um, yeah. So you know, title, whatever. You have everything you need to edit. I wouldn't really edit those, just because those are, I don't know, not meant to be edited. But yeah, you know, you have all this stuff. You have you know inventory, what this looks like, so you can make that black if you wish. You know, you have the logo, the unknown pack because he added skinning or the a official pack folders, whatever, or something, or I don't know. Anyways, yeah, you know, the background to it. You know, crafting bench. Oh, you can actually use that as a uh, background to, like, YouTube or something, actually. Because it's a repeating pattern, and technically, uh, it, I don't know, it just work. Because this is technically what it is. Whoa, what I do? Anyways, that's what it is in the uh, Minecraft thing itself. There's, you know, whoa, what's weird, just glitched it. Anyways, yeah, I have icons, you know. And obviously, um, if this program, I think I told you, I'm using Picasa just to view them, just because it works really fast, and I don't have to edit it and open it. So if you want Picasa, um, just go to, just Google Picasa. It's a Google product, um, just do Picasa. Whoa, capital A, caps box is on. And then, yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool program. So, um, download that. So again, the programs you will need need are paint and uh, the seven zip. You don't need paint, but believe me, paint makes it a lot easier. Once you get into it, you're gonna be addicted. Um, I really like paint; it's pretty much a free Photoshop. But yeah, I like that program. So um, yeah, and then the other program, if you want, just to view pictures really quick, because I mean that, that that's a pretty fast pop up right there. Easy to view. Um, but yeah, and. Obviously, this isn't perfect because it doesn't zoom in, like pixel-wise. So you're just gonna have to guess. But Minecraft, obviously, or not Minecraft, Paint.net really gets into it, as you can see. You know, you can really get the pixel down. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, people kind of requested this video. Actually, I asked people and they said yes. And a bunch of people have asked, "How do you do that?" So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, any questions, comments, whatever, leave a comment on this video profile, send me a message, whatever, um, I'll try to get back to you on it, so, yeah, I will, um, I'll see you all later sometime, adios guys.